What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. It's me, Kiki B, and we have got some news to talk about today on the channel. So last week we discussed how camp blueprints have been nerfed in the latest hotfix, and we were, rightly, pretty irritated about it. As of yesterday, though, Bethesda has pushed through a new hotfix to address those issues, and all our blueprints are back to normal. Now, I want to say that while the developers do often seem to be more than a little out of touch with the players, and this probably shouldn't have been an issue in the first place, they have listened to us and done their best to address the problem as quickly as possible. So I'm going to say something that they probably don't hear very often, which is thank you. If anyone on the team watches this, thanks for listening and for fixing the problem so quickly. We really appreciate it. So to celebrate that, I thought I'd show you guys how to make a round blueprint of your own today. If you already know how to do this, you can go ahead and switch off right now if you want. But if you don't, sit tight and we'll get to that in just a sec. Before we do though, real quick, if you love what I do here and you'd like to help support this channel, you can do that through the Patreon link down in the description. I will love you forever, you'll be my new hero. And of course, join us over on Instagram, at KikiBplays, we would love to see you there. Alright, now let's make some round blueprints. So this here is the blueprint in question. We call it round, yes, technically it's not round, it's got 16 sides, I think, whatever the hell that is. But it's as round as we can get it using flat walls and uh, square foundations. So we're just, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with this. It's round. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do first, in order to start this, we need to put down a few basic foundations. And we're gonna make a little sort of cross or X or whatever out of foundations here. We got one in the center and then two coming out off of each side of that one. So once we've got those down, this is what it's gonna look like. And we're actually now gonna go and we're gonna take out the sort of middle-ish foundation all the way around. So we're gonna leave the one block in the center and then we're gonna leave the four out there sort of floating on their own, feeling very lonely. And this is where the cool part starts. So you're gonna take a wall, you're gonna make it a doorway wall because it has to be. And if I were you, I would use just any of the base game walls, anything non-atomic shop, because you know what, if you do that, you can then also um, slap this blueprint down in a friend's camp if they want to have their own round structures, and then they can blueprint it themselves, and it's the gift that keeps on giving. So anyway, put down some doorway walls there. Now we're going to make sure that we're roughly centered in this foundation that we're standing on. It doesn't have to be perfect, by the way. Now you're just going to go and you're going to take each of these foundation pieces, and you're going to rotate yourself, and you're going to slide it over so that the corner of the foundation is just overlapping a tiny bit with the wall. You don't want too much overlap there, just a little bit. And now once you've done that, you're just gonna go and put a doorway wall on each of those, just like we did the first time around. And guess what? Now we're gonna repeat this twice more. So that's the actual difficult part done, and I mean, it's not really difficult, is it? So now we're going to throw some foundations down in between those, so that basically every other wall has a foundation on it. And we need to attach a foundation now to the outside of the wall. So we're going to snap those on, on the other side of the doorway, and then we can remove the ones that are on the inside. Now we just want to take and put some foundations on the inside on the ones that didn't already get this foundation treatment. So you're just going to go every other one on the ones in between now. This one is being a little tricky. And sometimes they want to snap onto their neighbors and not onto the foundation that's actually attached to the wall. So, you know, you just got to whip them into shape a little bit there. So that's what that's going to look like. You're going to have a foundation attached basically to the outside of every wall piece in your big circle. And now we're just going to go ahead and build a 3x3 three three foundation around that center block that we were standing on for a while. And if you want to make sure that these are lined up nicely for later, in case you want to put some kind of interesting flooring in there, then just go ahead and do that. Change them back to a plain foundation when you're done. All 
All right, so now we're going to blueprint that floor in the center and then all of those little wall and foundation bits around the outside. So this is what that looks like. It looks kind of like a big gear. So once we place this blueprint down, this is where the magic happens. All right, that is down. And now look, magically, the foundations have snapped to the inside of those walls. So they're all overlapping. You've got one big smooth round floor, no stupid corners sticking out if you want to make a big round greenhouse or whatever it is you might want to do. It looks fantastic. Now you can blueprint the structure like that with the overlapping floors with everything all nice and round and it will place just fine. So there you go folks, that is it. That is all it takes to make a round blueprint. You can use it for all kinds of things. A greenhouse or a UFO or whatever. I mean, really, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. That's it for me today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to make sure you are subscribed and you've turned on notifications so that you don't miss out on the next absolutely amazing video. If you liked this video and you're interested in helping to support this channel, check out that Patreon link down in the description. Join us over on Instagram at KikiBplays. And with that, folks, as always, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.